In this question, we are asked to find the formula of some different acids given the name. In a previous video, which is probably on the same playlist, I go into a lot of detail about how to do this. In this question, I'm just kind of going to answer the question and just review the basic rules one more time. The basic rules are that if the acid comes from a oxyanion with ite in it, it's going to be an O-U-S, acid suffix. If it comes from an oxyanion with eight in it, it's going to be an ic acid. So again, if it's ite, it becomes O-U-S, acid. If it's eight, it becomes ic acid. So chlorous acid comes from chlorite. Since there is one negative charge, we need one H, one proton, if you will, HClO2, because it has to be overall neutral. In the next case, we have bromic acid. Bromic acid comes from bromate. Since there's one negative charge, we do need one H, so it's H, B, R, O, 3. To show this another way, another way you could do this is if you think about it as H plus and B, R, O, 3 minus, you can cross them, just like you've done before, and you get H, B, R, O, 3. Carbonic acid, since it's an ic acid, it comes from carbonate. In this case, it's CO3, 2 minus. So you can think of this as H plus, CO3, 2 minus, cross them, and you get H2CO3. Even though these are covalent compounds, you can kind of think of them like ionic compounds, and they will break up to some extent in solution, and you will study acids in much greater detail later on in the course. Then finally, we have hydroiodic acid. Hydro the um, suffix here, excuse me, the prefix here is not really covered. Hydro means monoatomic ion. So this is just um, iodine, H and I. Well, when iodine forms ionic compounds, it's minus charge. So we have H plus, I minus. Again, there's just one of each. So HI.